Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. Move on to the second chapter. Uh, we'll create the front fender of the car, which is uh, just above the tire. This is called this area called front fender. So I'll just uh, move on to the top view, and I will again adjust from the top view so that the cage actually creates. Uh, according to my reference this is very important that you stick to your uh, reference image and that will actually give you an idea how the model will going to look so just adjust this fine cool <coughs> just make sure this uh, the edge of the sorry the last vertex is on the over the edge Fine. The last main finish up. Okay, cool. That's my uh, the front area, the front fender, and I'll move on to the back fender also. Uh, let's let me do some adjustment over the vertices. Cool. Okay, fine. Now again, I'm just create the back fender of the car. Fine. Just make sure you are uh, connected with the edge. So snap, sorry, snap with the edge. So just hold down the C to make it snapped. Fine. Just uh, make the adjustment from the top view. That's it. Fine. I'll, edge, edge, uh, I'll make this to the nameplate. Uh, sorry, the number plate of the car. And I'll just uh, make the final adjustment from the perspective view. Oops. I make this upside down. Fine. Okay. I just uh, readjust the vertexes according to your, you know, suitable position in the perspective view. Fine. Just make sure the uh, vertex are not outside of the reference image. Okay, now we are uh, going to uh, create the base of the uh, door. Fine. And always definitely connected with the last uh, fine. You, you should always uh, snap with the you know the curves so that uh, that will help you to create the basic shapes just uh, push it inside here if you found that uh, it's very important that I need a, a vertex over there and what we'll do I'll create a curve point wherever I need my vertex and move on to the surface edit curves and insert not fine my requirement has been fulfilled that's up to you if you don't have any idea about this basic uh, tools then you definitely have to see our uh, basic course on Maya okay now we'll create the uh, middle part of the front fender to give it a uh, surface because uh, otherwise it won't work so just uh, make sure the middle of the front fender has been made so that when I create the surface it will Create it very perfectly. Fine. Just adjust the vertices according to the shape from side view, then move on to the top view and just push it according to the alignment of the front fender. That's it how I can uh, create the basic surface shape very easily by using some really simple curves and again create the base of the <coughs> just make sure that you just continue with the uh, previous curve by pressing C and again create the middle of the fender from the back side fine 
just take your time because uh, these are very important it's uh, depends upon your experiences how fast you can uh, you know adjust the vertices uh, according to your requirement of the shape uh, the who are actually doing this model for the first time I will ask them definitely to go slow don't you know go very fast so that you can it might be you know ended up with a very bad shape the basic shape is very important this cage is really really important because in the later chapters you will un understand why these shapes are really important fine so just make it according to my shape okay just a bit adjustments uh, these adjustments are very important because when you create shape you don't have to move the vertices and everything fine so <coughs> that is okay so that is our basic uh, shape gauge so hope you enjoy this and we'll go for the third chapter thank you very much